we read in 2 Corinthians 3 the following very fascinating and interesting verses that the message of righteousness um, is much more glorious. If there was glory in the message of condemnation, message in the Old Testament, under the covenant of the law, the message of righteousness, in other words, the message that justifies, is much more glorious. But then we, there's a question, as you read the New Testament, there arises a question in your heart, and that is why, that is, why is it that the, even in the, in the New Testament, there's a, not only a message of, of comfort, but very much so also a message of con, confrontation. So we see that the Bible both confronts and it comforts. So why is that? And the reason is, is actually when you when you think about it quite obvious it's because of the condition of a man's heart of our fallen hearts and this is why in the book of James James 5 James says God gives grace to the humble but he resists the proud so what the Bible does is it, it confronts the arrogance the pride in the human heart and if there's any arrogance in pride in you it is meant it wants to con boldly and directly and even sometimes it might feel harshly confront that arrogance in your heart to lead you to a place where you would uh, be humble and meek so that you can receive redemption in whatever area whatever it may be healing and redemption might might come to you and this is um, a very important key to the understanding of the Bible and why the Bible both confronts and comforts but even when the Bible confronts we have to keep in mind that as Romans 2, I think verse 4 says, it is the kindness of God that leads us to repentance. So even when God con confronts, there is a, a, a heart of redemption and kindness behind that confrontation. But we just need to remember that we, we must not compromise. If the Bible wants to bring us healing, we must yield, become meek and humble. And then the redemption that is in Christ Jesus will be ministered to our hearts.